BrizzyMikeSass.com with an iPad app video review for Dark Avenger. This free-to-play hack-and-slash game features three game modes, three-player classes, real-time global player vs. player, and infinite dungeon gameplay. As we get into the gameplay, here's a look at some of the things you can buy. Weapons, armor, gold and gems are through in-app purchase, and there's all sorts of other stuff in this game. You can forge items and things like that. The enemies are all over the place. In the early, it's not too bad. As you go on, you'll see it'll get harder. I have several spells currently. I just have one, but as you go up or level up, you're going to get more skills, both passive and active. You'll see what I'm talking about as you play. There's also lots of different items that are drops and you can pick those up. Those guys, those nasty mummies with what's ever sticking out of their back, they always drop something after you take them out pick it up and keep on going. I also like the effect of the green or the looks like a hologram of the Templar. That's what I'm playing as. I couldn't play as the archer or as the mage right now when I first started playing the game. You can have some potions on your right side. Again, you will also automatically have like a power or a rage when you get to a certain point. Now you can see I have two different skills or active skills which was the tornado and the dash. When you see red you're taking too much much damage and you need to head over to the trough there and refill yourself if you don't have any potions and that only works once so make sure you use it good because when you die in this game you die unless you're going to spend some gems to revive yourself the enemies get more numerous and quite difficult to kill the farther you go when you level up you'll get a chance to increase your skills and your passive skills are your fighting and weapon and stuff like that your gold drop now here is Infinity Tower. This is survival more or less. You go in and you can earn some different things that you can't get in the regular campaign gameplay or single player gameplay other than the time attack. Time attack, you can actually play a campaign level or a single player level over after you've completed it and you play it for time to get some bonus items like the forge, gems, things like that freaky goat looking dogs come at you this game's great there's also a death match which is the player versus player online you actually play as a team of sorts against some others now when i did it i got well i got beat up really bad now these bosses are weird man they're furnaces they're nasty and not much to say there you can see one hit and i'm all splatted out i'm losing stuff still and they're still coming after me and it doesn't take much Watch, I get knocked down to the ground and I'm dead and the guy still splats me some more. I mean, just not right. Great game. Lots of gameplay. In-app purchases, reasonable. Check it out. Till next time, Crazy Mike, saying see ya.